Well, as part of our behind the scenes uh, segments that we're sharing with uh, all of our alumni and uh, retreatants, uh, I'm here today to talk to Grove Burnett, who is the founding father of Viacito's uh, Mountain Ranch. And when the retreatants show up, it's all beautiful and it's ready and it looks effortless as it should, but there's a lot that has to happen uh, before then to actually make that happen. So uh, what are some of your reflections on how we pull all this together? As you know, we, we are so deep in the woods, eight miles from Paved Road, we're 45 miles from Taos. It's an hour and a half drive. No one delivers here. <laughs> uh, so we have to go to Taos for everything. If we're building a new casita or if we're doing repair work, we're doing painting, it always involves a three hour round trip to Taos to get. I mean, we have an extraordinary staff that has to do really twice the work that's usually involved in running either a a retreat center or a restaurant or a hotel where the truck backs up to your kitchen. <laughs> right. And and those people unload everything. Someone else for you. unloads it and Someone, has it all ready. Yeah. You and, show up, you cook, you're done. Yeah, and that's it. And that's just not the case here. So it presents a lot uh, of challenges, which of course are worth it because the experience people have of being this remote and this yes. isolated. I think the other challenge, you know, as well is that Vicitos is only open about half of the year. Yeah, you know, that's our primary limitation in mm -hmm. terms of being a viable operating business. Right. Uh, when you only operate six months of the year, uh, you're right. really handicapped right. uh, by, by any business standard. We don't have the luxury of having a full-time staff right. all year round. We are relying more and more, which is is working out extremely well with volunteers of people who have come to Vallecitos on yes. retreat and, and want to give back. We had this wonderful couple who came to a retreat from England, who came to a meditation retreat, and at the end of the 10-day meditation retreat, they came to me and said, you know, we'd like to come back and volunteer next summer. And I said, well, how long are you thinking of? I was thinking maybe a week or so. And they right. said, how about two months? <laughs> It's a, a gift from the gods to have people like that. And we have more and more every year we have people like right. that. It creates a different kind of community. Well, exactly. You there know? are people who are here who want to give back. I think if you just had paid staff, you know, people who just showed up for a, a job, right. it would be a very different yeah. experience. 25% of our budget, of our revenue, comes from donations from our alumni. Right. People who have been here, who have been on retreat. Right. We're dependent on all of them to survive. Right. Uh, and because as you said, we're only really <laughs> able to operate and have retreat six months out of the year, but all of those logistical things have to, have to happen year round. Exactly. So you do have to have some staff to do that, which is why the volunteers are so important to help supplement that. Right. So I think it's uh, working out great.